What's up, YouTubers? So before we get started with this video, on first take, they're going to be talking about, is there a chance that the Pittsburgh Steelers could go undefeated? So let's see what they have to say about that. Do you think the Steelers will go undefeated all huh. season? Will they might. They have a great chance to. Will go is the operative word. I did not think they would. I mean, they started out the season, Giants, Broncos, Texans, Eagles, so what, they're 4-0, right? At this point... I still can't say will I, but they have a damn good chance. So I would say they're definitely going to beat the Jaguars. The Ravens, they're going to have a problem with them, but they can they can beat them. Uh, Washington, that should be a win. At the Bills, the Bills might be kind of tough. The Bengals, they should beat the Bengals. The Colts might be kind of tough because you never know which uh, Philip Rivers you're going to get. And the Browns, they should definitely be. But the hardest team is probably going to be going against the Baltimore Ravens, and they already beat them this year. But still, that's still going to be one of the most challenging games. So let's continue do it guys this is what i'm looking at okay this is what i'm looking at since those first four games which are easy games by nfl standards right they played the browns and that's a divisional opponent that's a I and mean, they've gotten much better and the browns were hot coming into that game they beat the browns 38 to 7 their other divisional opponents the ravens they had to go on the road to face baltimore beat them and the Bengals, I thought that was kind of a trap game, if, if sort of, right? And they couldn't practice because of COVID, right? Mm -hmm. They had a bunch of guys, including their quarterback, couldn't practice. 36 to 10. They're curb stomping their divisional rivals, except for the Ravens, who you don't curb stomp, right? But they beat them on the road. They also beat the Titans when the Titans were undefeated. The Steelers are not falling into traps. Even against the Cowboys, they scratched out that win in a game that was tougher than it ought to have been. <laughs> yeah. And they're beating the hell out of divisional rivals. And they're even beating Baltimore on the road and an undefeated team like the Titans. Now, look at their schedule. It does get tougher because they don't have gimmies like the first four games. They only have two of those. Jacksonville, and you heard Coach, they, they ain't falling into that trap, right? And Washington. Otherwise, they have Baltimore again. But this time, they're at home. They already beat Baltimore on the road. The Bills, they're on the road against the Bills. That's a game they could lose. They have the Colts at home. That's a game they can lose. I expect them to beat up the Bengals and the Browns just like they already did. So I'm really looking at the Ravens, the Bills, and the Colts. And I think if you beat the Ravens on the road, you can do it again at home. And I think the Bills are a team and the Colts are teams that probably they lose to one of those team, two teams at least. Maybe this is a 14-2 and two team, but there's a damn good chance they actually run the table. So I definitely agree with Max Kellerman there. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a great opportunity. <clears throat> Excuse me. For uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers to definitely run the table. Um, like I said, the toughest opponent is probably going to be the Baltimore Ravens, but they already beat them. They have their number. So they'll have, they'll have all the momentum going into that game. Um, and definitely, I told you guys, I told you guys, I told you guys that with Ben Rossenberger coming back, that man is on fire. You never want to sleep on Ben Rossenberger. Last year, he had it a whole year to heal up with his injuries and had a whole year to heal up for the nicks and scrapes and scratches and all that type of stuff that he's accumulated over the years. This year, he's come back absolutely fresh, fresher than he's been in a few years, and he's absolutely killing it right now because of that. They are 9-0 and taking care of it. The only, t only undefeated team in the league right now. I told you guys, Ben Rossenberger is a well-seasoned Hall of Fame two-time two Super Bowl winning quarterback that you never want to sleep on. And that's exactly what's happened. I told you guys, Ben Rossenberger is a beast. And so is Mike Tomlin. I disagree. And to be quite honest with you, as a diehard Steelers fan, I'm hoping that you're wrong. I don't want them to go undefeated. I think the more... Now, hold on. That's a contradiction. You say you're a Pittsburgh Steelers fan, but then you want them to lose. You don't want them to win. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> the perfection they put forth in the regular season, it sets them up for a fall. How many times throughout his, his illustrious Hall of Fame, two Super Bowl championship career, Ryan Clark, have we seen Big Ben and there were expectations that were not met? Now, when the expectations are not necessarily there, he rises, he plays big, he's played big in big moments. I'm not trying to, 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 to sh throw any shade on him in that regard, but I have found as a Steelers fan that when you absolutely positively expect them to do something and all the pressure is there, 
They don't rise to the occasion. I don't want this team to go undefeated. I expect them to lose about two games the rest of the way, and I hope that I'm right. They got a game against Buffalo. They got an upcoming game against Baltimore first. They got a game against Indy. They got a a game on the road, last game of the season, against Cleveland. I think they will definitively lose one of those games, possibly two. I'm just of the mindset I want to I want to have at least one loss, Ryan. That way they can go <laughs> into the postseason ready to go as opposed to being undefeated, unblemished, 16 and 0 and then you go into the postseason, I'm going to be like, "God oh, damn it." I'm going to be worried as hell. It's strictly emotional. I know it, but that's how I feel. I would be very nervous if they walked into the playoffs undefeated. See very logic, nervous. Brian. So I don't think there's a type of pressure on the Pittsburgh Steelers that Stephen A. Smith is making it out to be. Um, so last year, obviously, Ben Rossford didn't play because of injuries, and Mike Tomlin was still able to get this team to 8-8, eight and eight, which is excellent. Um, but this year, even with Ben Rossenberger back and healthy, I think still, some people still thought that or think that he he's lost a step, he's gotten a little bit slower, he's not what he used to be. So I don't think that type of pressure – is up to the level that Stephen A. Smith thinks it's at, or what it's at now, because now that they're nine and zero undefeated, um, there's you know uh, the pressure is definitely starting to build up. But there wasn't any pressure at the beginning of the year uh, than there normally would be with the Pittsburgh Steelers, especially you know people thinking Ben Roethlisberger lost a step, he's got a little bit slower. So I think they're going to be okay. Ryan, you look perplexed. Of all of the, of all of the backwards fans takes that you could have came on first take <laughs> with, you pick that one. I've been telling That's you how all I feel, season, Stephen A. Man. That's how I feel, Stephen A. I, listen, I thought I was the one that made a living backpedaling. You've been backpedaling all season. You started out strong with your fandom. The more they win, the more you start to crouch. The more you start to cover up. <laughs> Stephen A. Now, like I'm gonna tell you like this, and and, and to say as about. a real Steeler fan, this is Stephen A. This is what hurt me though. This is where you hurt me. To say as a real Steeler fan that when you expect them to do something, they don't do it. It's crazy. They got six. We got six championships. Six of them. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, six about that. yeah and it's not necessarily what you want to hope for for a team. I mean, you want them to be able to win, to run the table, win all their games. You shouldn't be saying, oh, I want them to lose at least one game. So the, all the pressure's off of them having to go undefeated, and they won't, you know, crack underneath the pressure. Um, you shouldn't want those guys to go undefeated. They have a perfect opportunity to go undefeated, but I think they might lose one game in there. But I can I can definitely see them win, going all the way, running the table. So, I don't know. Let's continue. Damn, yeah. oh, Brad, sure. Stop that. Stop that. Ryan's voice Stop went that up like on that. Oh, I'm not talking about Bradshaw and Swan and Stallworth and Lambert and Ham and <laughs> Mel <laughs> Blunt and me, Joe Green and LC Greenwood and we those boys. I'm not talking about. They I'm talking about from through. your generation. How many you times have we expected them. something and y'all didn't when show you up? Expect them. Yeah, but during his generation, they went to three Super Bowls, and Rosenberger won two out of those. That's pretty good. Some quarterbacks wish to make the playoffs, let alone win a couple games, let alone win a Super Bowl. So, I don't know. Let's continue. Don't, don't, don't y'all me. Don't you y'all me. Don't got you y'all me. I got, got that. Damn, don't make me excuse, walk to excuse, my closet were, and get that you, I know you didn't anyway. play. I know you didn't play. Were you on that field when <laughs> Ike Taylor gave up that 80-yard touchdown pass to Tim Tebow and to Marius Thomas? Were you on, were, on, were you on that sideline? Yeah, I was out there. Yeah, I was out there. I was out there. Stop bringing up old stuff. That's what's wrong with you. Anyway, hurt my heart. back to the conversation. I still haven't recovered. Hand, Steve, I still haven't recovered. I'm going to talk to Max because Max came here to be. So Stephen A. Smith makes it seem like the Pittsburgh still all they do is choke. And it's not even like that. It's not like that at all. Like I said, they've been to three Super Bowls uh, with Ben Rossenberger. They won two of them. That's a pretty good track record. That's a pretty obese uh, resume right there. So I, I would not even try to make it seem like the Pittsburgh Steelers always choke when it's time. So I don't know. Let's continue. 
professional every day like he always does. I agree with you, Max. When you oh, look please. at the early part of the season, I, I do feel like that was the time for them to lose. They haven't been great every game. And I've said this on this show. Everybody has a bad game or you have letdowns or you have spurts and moments where you're not playing your best. But the Steelers have found ways to win, which is why they are in this position. But listen to Coach Tomlin talk. What I know about him is when you win, he finds ways to make sure you focus on the small, on the little things that you didn't do right, that you could have done right, that could have helped you win bigger, or that could have lost the game because of those things you did. So we hone in on those, and you focus on those to be better. And when you lose, he finds ways to build you up. So right now, this team is being coached harder than they would be if they were losing games because he's trying to make sure they understand where they need to be to win a championship. That's why you hear the rhetoric on the Jacksonville Jaguars that you can lose any game. Because because he understands this, Max. If you beat the Jacksonville Jaguars and you go on Thanksgiving Day and you beat the Baltimore Ravens,